everyone, I have a quick tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you how you can take the teacup from the A Spot of Teacup file to create your own teacup shaped place cards, cards, tags, or other embellishments for any of your creative projects. Now, I already have a teacup all set and ready to go. I'm using my Shortcuts A Lot program. It doesn't matter what type of cutting system you have, I'm sure that you have something with similar features so that you can achieve the same results. You just may need to research the features within your actual program. So as I said, I have a teacup here all ready to go. I'm going to now open my A Spot of Teacup file and I'm just gonna move it over. As you can see, the images are all grouped. I wanna to go to Object, Break Apart. Now, this allows me to select, drag, and move whatever I like within, you know, the complete cut file. I can also delete unwanted images, which is great because oftentimes within a cut file, you don't want to have to um, cut all of the pieces. So, this part of the handle is separate. I'm going to select that and hit shift. Holding down shift, I'm gonna select the cup. Now I'm going to group that together. This allows it to become one piece again. If I wanted to delete it, I could have done that already. Now I'm gonna select my other teacup and bring it down here. Now, this is going to be the front of my card. I'm gonna select this cup and begin to rotate it. I select the rotate feature in the right-hand side of my toolbar. Now, as you can see, if I were to put these together, the handle is on the wrong side. We're welding these at the top so that it folds from the top into a card that stands up. I'm then going to select the horizontal flip feature so that it will mirror my image. Now, I am going to put these objects together and I hope you can see that I am just barely, let's move it over to make sure it's even, I am just barely connecting the two tops. Now I want to make sure that they're lined up pretty close so it looks like this one needs to go over another click. Now before I weld them I want to select both of them, go to object, break apart. This will allow this image for the handle to be separate. Now I'm going to select over here the cup features and go over to my side toolbar and click the weld button. Now what this does is weld these two cups together. Now up at the top, hopefully you can see that I'm up here now, there is a preview button. Now once you click that preview button, it shows you exactly what your Shortcuts sure A Lot Cricut, um, or Cricut rather, is going to cut and what it's not. Now this is good, it's gray. Any gray areas are not going to cut. And again, we did want the handle pieces to cut out. So now I have a teacup card that's ready to go. Once I'm ready, I just hit cut with Cricut and it will cut out my teacup. Once I have it, I'll score it across the top and I have an adorable teacup for any place cards or whatever else I want. Now another great feature, as I go to say close, It'll say, do you want to save the changes before closing? If you don't ever want to have to do this again, you're going to click yes. Now, something pops up at the top where it allows you to save it as an S cup file. I'm going to name it T cup place card. Click save and I'm done. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.